Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about notems, all about the notems. What is a notem? Types of notems, how to decode them, and last but not least, I'm going to give you a bonus website, which uh, I use from time to time, honestly, that is very useful for those of you um, who still struggle with decoding notems. Which, through which you can only um, copy paste the notem and it will decode it for you into plain text. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So, first things first, what is a notem? Well, a notem is an abbreviation of notice to airmen. And by uh, definition, according to ICAO, a notice to airmen, or notem, is a notice containing information concerning the establishment, condition, or change in any aeronautical facility service, procedure, or hazard, the timely knowledge of which is, is, it is essential to personnel concerned with flight operations. And this is uh, from ICAO Annex 11, Air Traffic Services. So, what does that mean? Well, notems are issued by national authorities for a number of reasons, and mostly you will find it in the EIP. What are these reasons? Well various reasons such as uh, for example uh, hazards such as air shows parachute jumping um, glider or micro light flying around the, your uh, aerodrome flights by important people or vips such as heads of states uh, runway closure taxiways uh, closure and serviceable radio navigational aids around the facility uh, for example um, unserviceable vor unserviceable NDB, ILS itself can be unserviceable for uh, several reasons. Also uh, military exercises with uh, resulting in airspace restrictions, unserviceable lighting, approach lights, taxiway lights, um, and so forth. Also uh, temporary erection of uh, obstacles near airfields such as crane and stuff like that. So for reasons of uh, consciousness and precision, notems are encoded, although uh, the code is usually sufficiently self-evident to allow the user or pilots, in this case, to identify hazard. All right, next we're going to look at the types of notems. Um, actually, there are multiple types of notems, according to the FAA. So we're not going to look at the FAA part of it, we're going to just um, leave the scope in general and just talk about the notems that concerns us uh, airline pilots so actually there are three so you're gonna find a notem n so a notem followed by letter n which stands for new so it's just a newly um, issued notem by the uh, aviation authorities to alert aircraft pilots for any potential hazards so the first one is a new then uh, for some reason that Notem is no longer valid or effective. Uh, you're gonna find a notem R. R stands for replacement or replaced. So this notem is issued whenever it it is intended to replace a previously issued notem for any reason. It could be. And then last but not least, you're gonna find notem C. So notem followed by the letter C, which is which stands for cancellation. So. A notem is issued to cancel any previously issued notems uh, that are no longer in effect. And of course, in parallel to this, uh, you might find the ash tabs, uh, which, uh, which are a volcanic ash notice to airmen. So they are just uh, issued whenever there are any volcanic activities in the area that might uh, affect the safety of the flight. And also, you're going to find snow tams, snow tams, as the, uh, the term uh, defines, is a no tam that concerns snow slash ice or any combination of uh, the, these that might affect uh, the uh, operation of the aircraft, whether on the ground or in the air. And uh, it's also worth noting that the maximum validity period of a snow time is 24 hours and the new snow time will be issued whenever there is a significant change um, in conditions. 
Okay, where can we find all these types of uh, reports and notifications? The EIP, the Aeronautical uh, Information Publication of the, uh, the Aviation Authority uh, of that country or the region for that matters. Or the region for that matter. Now we're going to look at how to read and decode a note. Okay, we have this uh, one over here in front of us. I have taken it uh, out of um, the EIP and I believe it is still in um, effect as of the recording of this video. So first things first, the first line, the creation date and time. And uh, it was uh, issued <coughs> 2021, June the 2nd at 0932 UTC. Of course, keep in mind, guys, all times represented in any report or any aviation document are in UTC. And then we have the uh, uh, the identifier of the uh, NOTAM, the series. So we have Golf 736 slash 21. That means the num number of this uh, NOTAM is the 736th in 2021. So 21 represents the year in which this NOTAM uh, was issued. Okay, followed by NOTAM N. As we have previously mentioned, the N stands for new. So this is a newly published um, NOTAM. And then the Q line. The Q line is, uh, you can think of it as the encoded or the encrypted form of the NOTAM. Below it, you will find exactly what's written in that line in uh, more or less uh, plain text. So let's look at the, uh, the line. First of all, we have the OBBB. That's nothing but the FIR, in which this um, NOTAM is valid. So OBBB happens to be the Bahrain FIR. Next, we have the uh, uh, five-letter NOTAM group code. This uh, group code contains, like we said, five letters. The first letter of the uh, code group is always the letter Q to indicate that this is a code abbreviation for use in the uh, composition of NOTAM. So the letter Q has been chosen to avoid conflict with any assigned video call sign. Because unfortunately not everyone speaks uh, <coughs> uh, or speaks English in a, an appropriate uh, pronunciation. Uh, okay, and the second and the third letters identify the subject reported upon and the fourth and fifth letters denote uh, its status of uh, operation. So the code identifying the subject or denoting its status of operation is, whenever possible, self-evident. So where more than one subject could be identified by the same self-evident code, the most important subject is chosen. What does that mean? So if the subject of the notam is not listed in the notam code, we, you will find double X in the second and the third letters. If the condition, okay, or the status of the subject is not listed, you will find double X in the fourth and fifth letters. Don't worry, we will uh, look at that in um, pretty much more details um, shortly. And then we have the IV, which is the traffic. So this... Uh, NOTAM concerns both IFR and VFR traffic. So the I stands for um, IFR and V for VFR. Next, we have BO, Bravo Oscar. This is the purpose. The purpose of this NOTAM uh, is a NOTAM of operational significance selected for PIB entry. What is PIB? It's pre-flight uh, information bulletin. So it has to be included in the pre-flight um, uh, file submitted to the flight crew before flight. This NOTAM has to be checked uh, by the pilot before flight. O, uh, concerning flight operations. That's it. So this uh, NOTAM concerns flight operations. So we, we pilots have to look at this uh, NOTAM. And of course, there are multiple letters. For example, it can be a combination of NBO, uh, MO and the codes I will leave the the, the um, link in the description below for you guys for the abbreviation and codes of the NOTAM. The, you will find them in um, document 8126 appendix B 
this is the notes and codes and another document uh, 8400 for the abbreviation make sure to check the comments section below or the sorry the uh, description box to find and make sure you uh, familiarize yourself with the um, uh, with the letters and uh, their abbreviation then we have the scope which is the w here uh, the w stands for navigation warning so this is a navigation warning we can also find a aerodrome for example if there is a runway closure taxiway closures you'll find an a so that means the no temp concerns uh, the aerodrome also e also could be uh, denoted which represents in route again uh, check out the um, documents below for the uh, abbreviation and then next we have the upper the lower and the upper limits for this uh, nota the triple zero and then slash zero zero four that means this notum is valid from the surface up to 400 feet msl above mean sea level okay the upper and the lower limit vertical uh, limitation of this notum and then followed by the coordinates the pinpoint coordinates of the um the activity or where the notum is uh, in effect so if you point point this coordinates on a map you will find exactly where the uh, notum is and then after the e the east you will have zero zero one this zero zero one is the radius uh, what is the range of this notum it is one nautical mile okay Next, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Again, like we said, it's just the plain text of what we just um, decoded. So let's continue. So the alpha line, OBBB, is the Bahrain FIR. Then we have the schedule. So uh, this NOTAM is uh, scheduled from the 2021, June 14th. And it will start and be in effect from 0430 in the morning, UTC again, guys. So we have here the date and the time for the, uh, the, the start, okay, of the note. It will take effect from this date and time until, so this note time will cease to be in effect in 2021 july 14th at 16:30 utc so pretty much a month and a few hours and then we have the d which is uh, nothing but the period in which this no time will take place because of course it will be valid from this date to this date but only during this um, hours this no time will be uh, active and then let's see what is actually this note. It's a remotely piloted aircraft system will take place within an area bounded by the following coordinates. So if you plot these coordinates on a map, you will have the, uh, the, uh, the shape of the area in which this note is uh, addressed. And then the last but not least, we already seen the uh, vertical limits so we have surface up to 330 feet and in the uh, Q line they said from 00, zero up to 400 feet because you know to round up for safety is better to uh, round down so this is the first uh, note let's look at another one